The brain is just so complex and we know so little about it. So up until about 20 years ago, we thought that the brain was really fixed. So once you were outside of childhood, what you had was what you had and it didn't change. And we now know that the brain is incredibly plastic. It can reorganise and remodel throughout life. And that's exciting because if we can harness that potential, we can make new therapies that help people get better so much quicker after things like stroke, Parkinson's disease or persistent pain. Brain U is the acronym for the Brain Rehabilitation and Neuroplasticity Unit here at Western Sydney. We are interested in two main things. One is trying to understand why some people get better after initial episode of pain, like they might hurt their back, and why some people get persistent disabling pain that goes on for months and months, even though the initial injury is healed. And then the other thing we're interested in doing is developing new treatments for persistent pain. The new treatments that we're looking at, which is quite often using non-invasive brain stimulation to do what's called priming the brain. And that means getting the brain ready for treatment, basically. So increasing its responsiveness. And then we give people a normal treatment like exercise or some kind of manual therapy, and we see how they respond. And so far, the studies we've done in that area uh, suggest that when we put these two things together, people do much better. So if we treat them over eight weeks, their pain and their function is hugely improved by combining the two. I started to feel improved improvements after about halfway through the course. And the exercises, you get a progressive, they get a little bit harder each time. And uh, I noticed an, a very distinct improvement on that right knee, which is the one I was having to treat it. It's the PhD candidates do most of the testing. So once they become independent in running a research project, we've made sure that they can do the methods correctly and safely. And we know that they interact well with people and they feel confident. Most of these projects they run independently and that's part of research training because at the end of three years when they come out the other side, we really want them to be independent, to do it on their own. The main thing we do in our lab is non-invasive brain stimulation and we do that to measure brain plasticity um, of various different parts of the brain. And we can do that in a couple of different ways. One is by passing a very high voltage current down a, a coil and that coil sets up a magnetic field and it causes all the brain cells underneath the coil to fire. It's completely painless and we can use that to see whether the brain has reorganised in response to pain or whether it's reorganised back towards something we might see in pain-free people with a treatment that we're doing. Whether we'll be able to advance our technologies enough in my lifetime to truly see what's going on to be able to make, for example, a cure, I'm not sure. But I don't think it's completely science fiction that at some point in the future we will be able to see so clearly what's going on that we can treat it almost before the symptoms develop. The right knee, the one that was treated, is ever so much better now than the left one. So I'm looking for another volunteer program. <laughs>